Yeah, this huge abscess, which I've just discovered, is refilling now on his neck. Oh. And uh, I put him back on antibiotics. He turned, he was pot negative for FELV, FIV, AIDS and leukemia. So I took him in for a thyroid test thinking it was that. It wasn't a thyroid. It wasn't diabetes. So it's either cancer or an infection. So instead of running the blood work right away, we decided to try him on doxycycline, but I'm having a hard time giving it to him. So he might have to get put down. He's an old cat. He's got big, big things. But he's so sweet. I didn't want to put him down right away. I thought he should have a a chance to be at least a little bit happy and get full because mm -hmm. this thing he was he had flies following him around and mm -hmm. he had fly eggs on it so it wouldn't have been long before he would have had maggots in his wound it started with in 2000 when Maddie's Fund started the feral cat program and then we were able to bring in cats in traps, feral cats we caught, and get them spayed and neutered for free because Maddie's Fund paid the veterinarians who signed up for it. And then that program ended in 2002 and you couldn't stop because then they um, would just go back to the situation they'd been in before with more reproductions and there would hardly be any point in doing it in the first place. So I had to put in my own money it was a matter of um, put your money where your mouth is. I couldn't find anybody else to help and so just started doing it and it's kind of extended and extended longer and longer and then gotten bigger and bigger and more expensive so that now we're barely hanging on by a thread here. But how can you stop when you love them and they're getting abandoned or they're feral out there reproducing you need to try to stop the cycle. My hope would be that there's a spay and mandatory spay and neuter bill that would be passed that people would actually comply with. Buck had been in a trailer park that I have had troubles with over by Anderson River Park and he had been shot in the head. I was being cited for littering when I was putting down cat food on the sidewalk, which I think started with two particular areas that were complaining about the cats mostly. I was able to get a pro bono attorney who got that charge thrown out of court, which was, it really was preposterous in the first place. It just shows how many people really don't care for cats. It wasn't good. So I still would like to get shelters put back in Anderson River Park, but I haven't been able to do that. But I have to keep feeding the cats. There's no way you can just stop. You can't starve them. You can't, and I can't bring any more here. I mean, she goes out every night. I mean, in terms of, of uh, dedication, she goes out and feeds feral cat sites all over this town. But he comes home wanting to sit down and watch sports, and we have dinner, and then he's got to get to it, too. We work from when we get up to when we go to bed. Don comes home from work and then has to work for probably three more hours. Um, feeding the outside cats and cleaning litter boxes and I leave about 10 o'clock after we've had dinner and I've fed the two bedrooms in the house and go down to the start my rounds at night I go to about 19 different areas and feed about 60 to 70 cats in the evening most of which I've also gotten spayed and neutered I don't get home till three usually, sometimes later if I'm trying to trap and get to bed about four or five so I sleep until noon and then start over again <laughs> every day. Okay, let me, here's my wife, she just broke free. Uh, let me give you to her. You look for kittens? Hi. What, what age kittens are you looking for? Do you have children? I've been looking for a kitten for about a week now and so we've just been driving around buying the local newspapers and looking for ads and just calling everyone that had an ad in the newspaper and we finally got a hold of her and she gave us the directions to her house and we came over. 
two I have at home that came from over in the playground would make wonderful therapy cats. They are so pro people. And uh, some of the kittens would too. So I hope we can find some more homes.